have our guides on our A4 artboard. We are inside of Illustrator. And now we want to put down our labels for our sheet. And we also want to make a frame for our data that we are going to be collecting. Remember, this is for presentation purposes, so we want this to be as clean as possible. Also, unlike art, this is very precise, right? Think of any kind of drawings you may have seen done by architects or engineers. We want to present our information in that kind of way. The first thing I want to do is make a frame for my information. And I'm just going to use a rectangle using my rectangle tool. And I'm going to go up to my guide where it intersects and then click and pull down and to the other opposite corner to where those guides intersect and release. Now remember, if your square doesn't show up as a black line, that means you need to hit the letter D for default color. And that will indeed show up as a black line with a uh, white fill. Okay. Let's start making our titles, our labels. I'm going to click on my type tool. And with your type tool, I'm going to go down to the bottom because our labels are going to be down at the bottom. This is why we have a thicker margin here. And I'm going to single click. I'm going to single click. And I'm going to start typing my name. And it's okay that it overlaps our box. I'm going to move it down with our selection tool. And I'm going to zoom in some more command plus, And I'm just going to nudge that up a bit and to the side where the frame of the actual type, this is the frame, to where that frame lines up with the edges of our guides. There we go. That's good. So we want our name. And then we want our class, MYP Design. We also want all of these letters in capitals. MYP Design. And make sure to put your class. So if you're in 10.1, make sure to put that. Or 8.1, make sure to put in that. And before we get into any further, let's save our work. Now there's a shortcut for save, which most of you know. It's Command S. Save. I always save my work to my desktop. And I'm going to click on my desktop and then save this as MYP Design Template. And we're going to use this every time we need to put something together. Um, I'm going to make a new folder for it, and I'll put in MYP templates. And hit save, and hit OK. I'm going to zoom out and see how that looks. Okay, the next thing I want to do is change the typeface, or the font of my name here and I'm going to go over to my character properties. I can also go up here to my options and pick Helvetica new. Helvetica new. And I want to make sure that's set at 12 point. And I also need some more information. I'm going to pick my type that I've already done and I want to duplicate that over and I could most certainly do a copy paste scenario command C 
Command V, and that would paste that down and move over to the side. But I want to do it a quicker way than that. I'm going to hold down the Option key with my type selected and click and drag over and click and drag over again. In essence, that has not only copy and pasted, but it also gives you the freedom of moving it anywhere you want to on the fly. So you're doing it as it happens. Again, that's holding down the Option key as you drag, as you click and drag, and you can duplicate any amount that you want. The next thing I want to do is put in some more information. So I'm going to zoom in to this middle bar. And put in the assignment design template. Hit return. And the second line is size. A4, and I'm going to hit tab, the tab key, I'm going to put scale, and I'm going to leave that blank for now, but I'm going to put the units as in centimeters, and I'm going to zoom out, and then finally on this top row, I'm going to put our school name, Sason International School hit return, and then the date, 6 September 2022. And then I finally want to make sure that this fits. So I'm going to nudge this over. Nudging is the properties of using your arrow keys on your keyboard. Nudging. It's a great way to move things in a very small way. You can move them up, down, sideways. But even if that's too small, you can always do shift nudging, where you hold the shift button down and it nudges 10 times the distance of a single nudge. So nudging helps out a great deal. Okay. I want to zoom out. I like this, but I think we need to figure out where this middle, this middle label is going to go. And I kind of want to put it over close to my name and we need to figure out where the halfway point of our document is. Now, the great thing is, is that I've made guides that are on either side and I've made them pretty accurately. So I know that this box that I've made is in the center. And so I could pull out another guide for that center to mark the center of the page. And so now I see that center and I can nudge this over a bit just so I know that that's maybe halfway through. Well, how do I know it's going to be halfway through? Well, I could make uh, another box. Another box. This one's filled with black, which I didn't mean to do, but we're going to erase it anyway because we just need it for the guide in the center. There's our guide for the center on the left half of our work. And now I can delete that big box. And as it turns out, I line that up pretty good. So there is our template with labels. Again, the things that will change are your assignment and the size maybe, or even the scale. The date will most certainly change. I'm going to save this. Notice that whenever we make changes to an already existing document, we have an asterisk that is next to the name. 
that means it needs to be saved because you've made changes. So I'm going to hit Command S and it's going to save really quickly. And we are finished doing our bare bones template.